Okay, this is where we're going to install SigWin. I'm going to go ahead, you point your browser um, window address to SigWin.com, just like I have here. And I'm going to click install. First thing you're going to do is it's going to actually save a little install icon on your desktop. Mine's already been done once, so I'm going to say, yeah, I want to replace it. Just so you can see it, I'm going to go ahead and open. I'm going to run, actually. Um, you get the security warning. It's, it's fine, though. I've run it many times uh, on different computers. Uh, next, you want to install from the Internet because that setup file was just a little pointer to let you get a direct connection to the Internet so you can actually download one of these files. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pick this one. This one a minute ago actually timed out on me. And it's going through a little setup process. Uh, one thing you want to do on the Select Packages page, you need to go to Editors, open it up, scroll down until you see the VI Improved Editor. Click the binary, not the source. You can, but if it's a source, but binary. Click Next, and this will take a few minutes. Um, you can see the progress. I'm going to let it go for a few minutes, and we'll, uh, I'll check back shortly. What you're seeing here is all the files, the programs that are being downloaded, their name, their version, the fact that they're tar files, I mean they have or tape archive files is what they mean. It means there are a bunch of files within a big file. .bz is a compression program. I'll be back. Check it on in a few minutes. And we're about two-thirds of the way done, going much better than the last time I tried this a few minutes ago. It hung at 52%. And so this is going a lot better. There's the VI editor is downloading information on that. Almost done, looks like, I guess. From what I can tell. Unless I'm wrong. Okay, here we go. Create an icon on the desktop. Add, to, to add icon to the start menu. Sure. Installation complete. And then what you get is I'm going to collapse this window. I'm going to show you in the middle here what SigWin looks like. Point down here, you can see how it's opening up. That's what it looks like. Okay, that's what it should look like. This is a screen capture program I have to use. So you can go LS, whoops, LS, PWD. Um, you can make a directory. Whoa. Called Makedur. Uh, 
high and do an ls minus l you'll see that it's a directory called high um, so that's all we have for the discussion of how to download and install and utilize sigwin um, one more thing um, this is this is normally how it should look so this is this is valid clear clear for screen so you've got a, a dollar sign which is your prompt telling you what to do or that you should type here 